Hello, everybody, and welcome to Darren Augustus Plays. This is my first actual video for this channel or whatnot. So, something I've been wanting to do for a while, and I'm going to take a whack at it. So, I'll be trying to post a video every single day, but you'll see how it goes. I do work in my spare time, so I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to this. Maybe about four hours a day, but we'll see. I'll try and put at least two videos up a day. So,. I don't know a whole lot about Outer Worlds. I know it's made by Obsidian, who they did Fallout New Vegas. I wanna say they did Pillars of Eternity. I could be wrong about that, but I know they're a great developer, so. And I've seen a lot of trailers about this, a lot of gameplay of it, and it looks pretty good. So let's jump right into it. Now, yes, I am a noob. I'm not going to be playing on hard or supernova or anything like that. I pretty much like casual experiences, so in my spare time, if I was doing this, I will be playing it on story mode, but I'll play it on mode, so I feel like that's pretty good. Wait. Dark subtitles? Oh, okay. <laughs> It's like, why did you leave the subtitles dogs barking? Come to Halysian, the only colony on the edge of the frontier that is owned and operated by the distinguished corporations. Oh God, it's capitalism on steroids. Right, so I think that's supposed to be a big thing about the game, about a dystopian view of capitalism to a certain degree. Oh. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon. The only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> minor. Okay. of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Strength. Strength affects melee weapons damage and the amount you can carry. Okay. Dexterity. Melee attack speed, so if you want somebody fast. Intelligence, fix critical hit bonus damage. Perception, fix headshot and weak spot damage bonuses. Personality, charm affects faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. Okay. I usually like to play charmers, but I'll, I'll do charmer this time around, so. 10% pain and melee refresh. And I will do intelligence and perception. This may be bad, but we'll see how it goes. Two points. Okay. So. 
If I bring it up to 20, which I can't do. Crap it. Uh. Hmm. Humans have a 20% chance to cower in fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. Oh, okay, so. Oh, okay, I like that. So, yeah, if you have points in Persuade, it actually does affect combat. Because usually if you have points in Persuade in most RPGs, it just, it just purely affects conversations and stuff like that. So, Okay. So... I'm guessing my guy's gonna be taking a bit of a back seat, so let's try. Maybe I should try leadership. I can lie. Hmm. So many choices. Yeah, I guess I'll focus on leadership or something. Oh, wait. Wait, what? How does this work? Chairman material. Or at least captain. Oh, okay. So you choose one and then it puts points in it. Okay. Okay, so it's leadership and I'll put more into dialogue. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. That's what I intend to do. Or just talk my way out of pretty, pretty much death, but all right. Aptitude. No discernible aptitude. <laughs> Colonists sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civil civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You had the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halicean. Beverage service technician. The Elysian colony needs good people, but it will settle the, for the ones who can mix a memorable drink. As a human cocktail shaker, you've made concoctions that could end wars or few skip drives. You're still trying to balance out the flavors of a truly signature old-fashioned, though. Okay, so you can make bombs and stuff, but you can't make a drink. Cool. Bureaucrat. Oh, yeah. The universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. Elysian is no exception. If something isn't stamped, filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. Jesus. Cashier, subgrade, non-supervisory, so like a CSM. No transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the chunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up, the redemption of loyalty points, and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon. Bye bye now. Are more than empty words. They are a promise and a standard you intended on carrying to the frontier. Have to bonus persuasion. Oh god, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Um Hmm. Why is it that the bureaucrat gets a block bonus, but this gets a persuasion bonus? Hmm. Tossball team mascot. There isn't a problem in all the cosmos that team spirit and a big stick couldn't solve together. That's what she said. Your last major head injury in the field knocked some extra cheer into you, and you've been a rising star in Tossball's competitive mascot food chain ever since. It doesn't matter that no one knows your face under the mask. You share glory with the team. Hmm. Okay, that gives me inspiration. I do have a lot of inspiration, so... I'm going purely based off of stats. It's either going to be the cashier or a toss ball. I go with the cashier because again, more persuasion. So I can be reasonably sure you know how to add and subtract. Mm. Math is not my thing. Gender. I am a dude. Let's see here. I may have to cut some of this out. I just, I didn't think about this. Um, let's see. Oh, you can go full animate with this. Okay. All right.
I mean, if I'm not mistaken, the game is in first person, so I really don't have to worry about this. So I won't waste too much time on it, so. Jesus, I look like Bruno Mars. Okay, with gray eyes. This is really starting to look like my Commander Shepard. Uh, I think I'll just go with a regular low cut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a robot. Oh yeah, you can go full Goku on this. Full Goku. Not half, full. Okay. That's black. So, do that. Facial hair. Oh god. There are so many choices. I feel pressure now. Okay. No. Can I just get like a stubble? Wow, this looks like me when I cut my hair. Okay. Without the gray eyes, of course. I actually like that. I didn't put a lot of effort into that, but I like that. Okay. Um, scars. This is really starting to remind me of my Mass Effect characters. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. And age them up just a tad. All right, I like that. I can live with that. Cool. What's my name? I am Sodaren. Do I have to put the last name too? No, just, we'll just go with Darren. Okay. Darren it is. I am okay with this. Yeah. I will. Watch me die immediately and horribly. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. Okay. Terra 2, opening laboratory, Elysian system. That's a rock. Oh, the planet. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> <sighs> Shit. What's up? Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. What? Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? What? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. 
I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! What? Position for what? What? Remember the hope. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Six years anniversary of the hope's disappearance. Okay. Kind of got that 1950s kind of style to it. Okay. Brought to you by Zero G Brew. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. You say this. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. I mean, you say this as you're chilling in the ship. Well, I have to deal with Space America. You know what Space America is like? you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. This kind of reminds me of No Man's Sky look-wise, but it looks great. Yeah, I'm playing this on the PS4, so just the regular PS4, not the PS4 Pro. I'm poor, so... Tall grass, rocks, whatever. Alright, from enemies. Yep. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, okay. That's neat. You're wearing this mirror over enemies. What? Oh, that's what I was supposed to be sneaking from. See? Told you. Boned already. Can I run away? Should, should I run away? I should run away. I should go. Oh, Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Yeah. Like random bullet time. What? If you have low health, use the emergency medical inhalers to heal. Oh. Okay. Hey, you. Come here. What if I don't want to? I don't know you. What's that? You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. What? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. 
then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. You nearly killed yourself while running away. Oh, Lord. Uh, just be okay. It's about marauders. What are you doing out there? You're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Uh, let's go with that. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Really? Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Okay. Hmm. Someone's ground their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before I can do these two. My persuade is lower. I think my lying is higher. So let me try this. You'd better take my gun then. Uh, careful. It's worth more to the company than I am. All spacers' choice weapons are now thirty percent less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacers' choice. Yes, nailed at that time. Really, dude? You know the, hope? the Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Can you even breathe with consent? Probably not. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Ugh. That does not sound good. Alrighty, I'm off. I've got a gun. Wait, am I supposed to shoot that? Damn it, my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the this Everything is perfectly under control. I wonder if I should play a bad guy, because I heard in this game you can kill everybody. Mm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. He might come in handy later on. Alright, any more loot? Alright, let's get to it. Ow. Should I shoot you? Should I sh no. I'll leave you. Hibernation complication detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation TTD button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as time to take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Okay. R1 for that. I will definitely forget that. Okay. Oh. Hi there. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? No. You, you, you try to kill me. You die. Double click the jump button to dodge left. Okay. Give me the loot. Give me all the loot. All the loot. Even your foot had loot. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock picking skills help you get into places you were not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break upon open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up and speed up the process. Okay, I didn't know hacking and stuff like that was a thing. Alright, so I can't get into that. I think. I need one more. Ah, there we go. All the loot. All the... Oh, I didn't mean to kill him. 
Maybe I did. I'm not sure. I blew up everything. I probably killed him. Okay. Telescopic staff. The iconic Spacer's Choice telescoping staff can be modified in many ways for additional costs. Now available in Mark II. Okay. I'll take it because it's a thing. This is an RPG and I take things. Moving along. How do I change? That's definitely not it. That's also not it. You guys really didn't hear that? Okay. It's long, it's long, it's big, it's heavy, it's big. I wonder if it has like a stealth takedown kind of thing. Okay. So like, can you just completely not see me while I'm in here? Cause I'm okay with that. That's not how that works. Oh god, okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, stop shooting me. Okay, I think I missed the part about melee. see anything oh okay it's the middle thing I never think about this weapon management you can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon then selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen on this page you can also inspect your weapons compare them flag them as junk or break them down for parts players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well take care of your TNL weapons and they'll take care of your enemies <laughs> But it that can backfire too. Oh, okay, all right, whatever. Okay, so this is a lot more than I thought it was. Not that that's a bad thing. Let's see. It's a hundred. Okay, that's not different. Okay, cool. Killed? I've been doing the killing so far, ma'am. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. This is super corporate, so I probably shouldn't say that. Really? How is he?
Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Right. Stress guards are back down from a challenge. I bet you can get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna lie. You think? Most marauders can't even talk. But criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, go ahead. Run down there. I'm right behind you. Pay attention to the per Oh! Okay, I did not. That was an accident. I'm so sorry. But, I mean, I get to take a snuff. So. Oh, that worked out better than I thought. I didn't mean to! It was an accident. Jesus. That's gonna be one of those games. All right, idiots. Let me equip the rifle. Wait, what? No, come over here. Mm. Let's see. No, I want to. Put you as the primary. That's those. Okay, let me check this again. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's triangle. There we go. All right. Definite level two there. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling, leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be in upper management material in no time. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. I mean, you're an AI. It sounds pretty valuable. What? Auntie Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points. Blah, 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 Okay, cool. Let's see here. Right, so let me put some points into this. Um... Yeah, and I'll put the last one in there too. I probably should put some stuff in the sneaking and stuff as well, but it's fine for now. So I'll put the last one in ranged. Okay. Cool. What? Oh, I didn't. What? Okay. You'll be unable to undo points allocated. Yep. Next, that not not that next. Selecting perks. Welcome to perk selection. On the screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. 
You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Huh. Acquire five. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. There was another game that had something like that. Or maybe I'm just thinking about Project Zomboy since 40, the Bill 41 just came out. I don't know. Okay. Perks. Let's see what we got here. Toughness. I know. I'm kind of playing it. You've grown healthier in your time outside of stasis. Toughness. I love health. I really do like health. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Increase your maximum carrying capacity. Oh. It's one of those games. You can only carry a certain amount. Oh no. Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Ooh, this was the bane of my existence in Skyrim. Okay. Mm. I'm going to get toughness because wait. 50% of XP from companion kills. Well, I don't have any companions now, but I'm sure we'll need that in the future. 25% damage when alone in the party. That's just going to encourage me. Mm. 50 kg carrying capacity or health I like health so I'm going to go with health for right now because I am playing this on normal which again I don't normally play games on normal I play it just on story because I just want to experience the story and be a ultra powerful warrior so I'll do this okay Seriously, guys, I really didn't mean to do that. Okay. Already starting off on the wrong foot. Shoo, let's sneaky, sneaky. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. What? Oh. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. I don't know how I feel about that. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Why would I do that? Hello. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I'm a little worried about that, actually. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here in misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate being talked to that way. Um. Gesture procedures initiated. What? Disengage the airlocks. Prepare to eject all the oh. <laughs> I'm on the planet. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> Disappointment. Hmm. Is this the Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Don't make me go back. Hmm. I could be a douche. I'm not. I'm trying not to be a douche. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. <laughs> I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Right. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced.
The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. You know, I feel like as an AI construct, that's probably like a bad workaround, but okay. Is there anything on this ship that I can do? Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Ah. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Okay. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Okay. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. That's not reassuring at all, but okay. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Oh, yeah. Why is there knocking? Item repair. Keeping your company gear in tip top shape is expected and something you're carrying, you're carrying needs and something you're carrying needs repair. You can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapons and armor parts. Get them from breaking down unwanted items. Okay. Players will, with engineering skills can repair their gear. Blase, blase, blase. Go. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. So there's durability. Great. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. So is this what needs to be? Oh, yeah. 5%. Mm-hmm. Short barrel shotgun with <laughs> lousy spread and recoil, but devastating damage when used at a close range against unarmored targets. Okay. I feel like a shotgun in general would just kind of hurt, but you know, whatever. All right. So how do I... Okay. Repair. That's not what I wanted to repair. God. Dang it. Oh wait, I do have extra ones. So let me break these down for parts. Yeah, break those down for parts. Yep. Is that better than what I got on? It is. Hmm. Oh God. Let's see. Where's my junk? Uh -huh. Break that down for parts. And now I can do the right thing this time. Okay. I still need five parts. Okay, I'll break down the other stick thingy. Yeah, let me break this down. Equip. Put you there. Are you kidding me? I still need more. Mm -hmm. 
Crap it. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait. I thought that would be enough, but apparently it's not. Oh, wait. Toss ball stick. Can I break you down for parts? And I still think that's not enough. Ah, it's enough. Okay. Pistol, shotgun, knife, yeah, okay, all right. All right. I'll stop it right here, take a look at the video and everything, and I'll join you in part two. See you.